So I was told that it's basically crunch time here, okay? If you've been following the channel closely, you would know that I kind of came out with a, a curated sample set with Twisted Lily. I mentioned it a couple times in passing, and uh, the stock is starting to run low. This is not something that they are going to keep stocked forever. It's kind of a once it's gone, it's gone type of thing. And essentially what this is, is a curated sample set where I sat down and I came up with a five different fragrances that I feel you guys should sample if you want something energizing, refreshing, and truly remarkable and special. Now here's what's so crazy about this, is that I wasn't just limited to what niche fragrances I had in my collection. Uh, this was complete full reign. So the wonderful people at Twisted Lily basically said, okay, whatever you can think of, if you wanna try something new, we will send you out samples to try. I could have chosen anything like literally anything. So this was like free reign of whatever I could come up with, right? And so that's kind of what we did here in the sample set, which I'm gonna run through. Uh, there are five fragrances in here, but one is a surprise. And so I'm not gonna be covering that one today. You will find that one out once you get your sample set in. And also inside the sample set on one of the cards is a special discount code for you that has never been mentioned before. So that way if you decide to pick up full bottles of any of these, you can take advantage of a really good discount. And in a lot of instances, it's gonna be stronger than my 10% off discount here. So let's go ahead and kind of go through what you'll get when you get your sample set. So here's what it looks like. It looks fantastic on the outside. I love the look of it. Kind of goes with their boutique theme. Uh, you open it up like so. You can't see any of this, by the way. If I showed you, it would all fall apart. So just take my word for it. So here's what we have, right? Opens up like so. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff out of here. And we can get this, we can get this party started, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. So there's going to be five samples. Again, I took it out, right? And also a card, okay? So... As you can see, there is a picture of myself. Cool, cool, I finally made it. A uh, little handwritten note and my signature. Yes, my handwriting is, um, really, it's, it's not good at all, but at least you know what it looks like, right? So, let me set this stuff down. On the back of this card will be basically uh, your notes. All of your fragrances. Oh, I actually can't even show you that because it'll give one away. Um, you get the idea. On the back of this card will be your custom discount code and it'll give you the notes and the names of each fragrance here that's in the uh, sample set. So that's very valuable. And then this part's really cool. I love that they did this here. This is awesome and I've never really seen this before, but they give you five different note cards essentially. So um, you, you probably can't even see that. I'll just buy one and then you can see it. But basically you can go through and write down the name of the scent you can circle the seasons that you feel it, it's best for, the mood that it makes you feel, the occasion, the strength, the first impression, the longevity. You can just take notes on each fragrance. There's a little spot where you can spray the fragrance up here, and write the name and all of that stuff. So you can keep track when you're testing here. It's kind of the whole idea behind this is to uh, get your nose on some fragrance that you maybe normally wouldn't try and then be able to try them at a, a really good price. The sample set's only $25 and that's to be able to sample five niche fragrances. We're talking several hundreds of dollars worth of niche fragrances here that you can sample for $25. And so really that's what it's all about is getting your hands on something new. And so we'll go ahead and run through this. What do you wanna see, full presentation or samples? I guess we'll do both. So first one is going to be Zerzhoff Kobe, beautiful. Gorgeous scent. We'll cover all these in a second. Um, Mansara Aoud Lemon Mint. Okay. We've got uh, Floraiku Between Two Trees. This one's got really cool uh, look to it. If I can open it up and show you here. Um, very nice. And finally, MFK Aqua Universalis Cologne Forte. Now let's get to the uh, full presentations here. Just if you wanted to pick up any of these after you smell them and inevitably have your mind blown because these are some mind blowers here. Also, again, one more that I'm excluding because you'll have to wait and see what that is. So we'll look at the bottles real quick and we'll run through them. Here's MFK Aqua Universalis Forte. This one has bergamot, white floral, white musk. Uh, really what this one is, is it's a super, super clean, fresh laundered clothes. 
sexy men's fragrance. I mean, not even necessarily. It could go either way. But it is so, ooh, for how good the atomizer was. That is so nice. It's so refreshing, so relaxing. And that's kind of the theme that I tried to stick with here when choosing all of these fragrances is I wanted stuff that was going to be relaxing and also kind of uplifting, depending on your mood. I wanted stuff that would be easy to get along with, nothing that's going to be too hard to get into here, right? I wanted stuff that would be kind of either for a beginner or for someone who is a bit more of an expert, so to speak, and you just want to up your game in terms of quality. There's going to be a little bit for everybody here. It's all stuff that's that's very, very approachable. This is probably going to be one of the cleanest, most inoffensive and safe fragrances in the sample set, and it's an absolute stunner. The quality is top-notch. This stuff is amazing, and really, that goes to show uh, what the perfumer is able to do behind this brand, behind all of the other fragrances he's created for other brands. He's a mastermind. Next up, one of my favorites. This one is Zerjoff Kobe. So we've got orange, petty grain, amber. So, you know, I've talked a lot about Neo, a ton. Uh, and in fact, I smelled Neo before Kobe. And I was always like, man, Neo is one of the best citrus fragrances I've ever smelled, period. I've said that a lot. And then I got Kobe. And then I'm like, uh oh, I should have smelled this first. I mean, the level of detail and quality behind this one is amazing. I'm actually going to go and spray this one on. Here's what I encourage you to do if you pick up a sample set, come back to this video, get your note card out, smell it with me. You know, we can try this stuff together and, uh, you know, experience it together because, I mean, for me, Designer fragrances is kind of mainly what I do, but when I do dive into these niche fragrances, it's like a kid in the candy store, and it's like I'm starting over with my collecting hobby. That's how incredible these are. And I mean, the depth and richness behind this one, even though it's a citrus fragrance, is amazing. There's this silky, smooth, creamy sweetness, believe it or not, the way the orange is coming across. Wow. I mean, this is a fragrance that genuinely makes me happy. It makes me feel incredible. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Zerzhov Kobe. I mean, where has this been? This is amazing. It's actually been around for a long time. I mean, where has it been in my collection? So this next one I'm really excited about. I have a couple cool things to show you. It's uh, Floraiku Between Two Trees. I understand I'm probably saying the name of the brand wrong, um, but you know, A for effort, right? Uh, look at this. Look at the detail here. I mean, that's beautiful. Awesome stuff. One thing about niche fragrances is a lot of times their presentations are just incredible. Can't get away from the Kobe, but I gotta I gotta transition. So here's what I want to show you. This is how the bottle will come. Okay, right. Um, it'll also come with a travel atomizer. Uh oh, travel atomizer. See, that's probably about eight mils, ten mils. Here's what's also cool. Your bottle comes with a. Uh, plain old Joe Schmo regular cap for, you know, travel purposes. So you're probably like, okay, well, what do you do with that huge cap? Well, you stick that in that huge cap and it comes with one more cap. So now you've turned your bottle of between two trees into a, you know, full size 50 mil bottle right here and one that you can slip in your pocket to wear throughout the daytime. That is super, super cool. It's kind of like Tommy uh, Tommy Hilfiger Impact, except this is, you know, a little bit cooler. I would say. I'm gonna spray this one on as well. Um, okay. So here's what this one smells like to me. Man, that's good. For whatever reason, the first time I smelled it, when I was putting this whole thing together, this was one of the ones I was curious about, and they sent me out a sample, and I tried it, and you know, I got a whole bunch of different stuff. I kept coming back to this one. And one of the first things that it, it, I kind of realized was smells like damn 4th of July. And that's weird, but it has this smokiness, like the smoky kind of wispy quality. So, and it has this woodiness, but it also has this bright citric pop. And so you're probably like, why 4th of July? Well, here's my reasoning behind it. It's got some citrus for like a, a summertime scent. It has this smokiness for when you're watching the fireworks and you're with your significant other and it's a very nice time. And there's this woodiness because it's, it is it is July and ultimately at now in July and forward, summer's ending. Each day that goes by 
goodbye summer. Days are getting shorter. It's actually quite depressing. <laughs> so, you know, you, you can smell the, the woods. You can smell uh, the air, all of the, the, the sounds of the birds and the insects and stuff in the evening. That's the picture this one paints in my head. We'll get to the notes. It's a grapefruit oil, mate, absolute, and vetiver. So that would kind of explain the smokiness, you know, some of that vetiver. The smokiness is more prominent on the open. As it settles in, it kind of goes away and some of the woods and citrus comes through more. But this stuff, I mean, it's remarkable. And ultimately, there was a reason why I chose this one as well. And that's because I did kept coming back to it. You know, I, I smelled it the first time. I was like, that's interesting. And for the rest of the day, I kept going back to my hand, smelling it because it's intriguing. And I can still do that. I can smell this stuff this stuff and this stuff all day. I mean, that's a cool concept for an even cooler fragrance. This stuff is really, really nice. And we're gonna skip the, you know, magic fragrance, right? The uh, hidden gem, the surprise fragrance and go to the last one, Mansara Aoud Lemon Mint. So this one I have featured. Um, I featured uh, the Aqua Universalis Forte once I believe, but uh, this Mansara would probably be more familiar to the channel, but even this one still, man, it's going to be the cheapest, more affordable one out of the list here, but don't let that fool you. Holy crap. It's Iwood Lemon Mint. There is a very good reason why this one got hyped up. So if I need the note breakdown, we've got lemon, almond, and oud, really. So it has a little bit of that Mansara smell, and what I mean by that is the oud smell. It's slightly medicinal. However, it does have a lot of the lemon, has this nice creamy, nutty almond note. And now there's a, a ongoing debate with this one about mint. Some people say that there is no mint note given to us by the brand. Some people say that there is. I believe if you go to their website, a Mancera's website, they have a mint note. But I remember when this first came out on Fragrantica, they did not have a mint note listed. And so I'm assuming that they might have gotten their note breakdown from Mansara, which leads me to believe that Mansara added the mint note into their note breakdown after the fact. A couple years later, maybe when this one got hyped up, just to make it make more sense. I don't know for sure, but I just know that there's always if there's mint or if there's not. And interestingly enough, I really don't get any set in stone mint note on its own, but I do get a green aspect, a green kind of geranium type of aspect, which would give off the impression of a mintiness. So I guess in some ways it could be there. I just always found that funny though. Uh, but yeah, it's Mansara Oud Lemon Mint. It's one of the more unique summer fragrances. This would be a nice one for a summer evening, for early spring, that sort of thing, because it does have some richness. It's a summer fragrance for someone who wants something challenging. So that's it. That's the overview on my sample set here. Uh, again, very cool, very cool opportunity uh, that Twisted Lily did here. And again, I like it because you're able to test out some things for a, a next to nothing, 25 bucks. And each of these vials, you've got definitely more than one wearing, okay? I mean, these are, they're generous sized, right? And, you know, if you're just trying to sample stuff out, that's really all you need, okay? And like I said, there's a special coupon code on the reverse side of this that you can use. Uh, it works site-wide, but you can also use it on any of these if you fall in love and want to get them. Should I tell you my favorite out of all of them? Actually, I don't have one. Um, it would probably be between Kobe and between two trees, but that's really tough because I also like Aoud Lemon Mint. I also really like Aqua Universalis, and I also really like the mystery one. But I'll tell you what, Kobe is seriously something else. If you haven't tried this one, I mean, this one you should definitely really be hyped for. I mean, this is unlike anything else I've ever tried. So make sure you hit the link down below. Get this. It's almost gone. And once it's gone, it's out. There's not a whole lot left, like less than 100 left. So I would jump on it as soon as you can because when this video goes up, they're going to they're gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my sample set. Thank you, Twisted Lily, for hooking this up. And also, I have to say, for providing me the full bottles of Kobe and Between Two Trees and the mystery one. I did have the other two. Actually, you know, they did provide. Actually, you know what? Yeah, they provided this. They might have given me the Oud Lemon Mint as well. Thank you, Twisted Lily, for everything. You gave me five niche fragrances here. So, uh... Thank you so much, and thank you guys for watching and supporting. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.